Do you wish you had butterflies in your garden? Do you feel that you should have butterflies in your garden and wonder why you don't? Well, if you've answered yes to either of these questions, keep watching because I'm going to show you how to get butterflies to come to your garden easily and quickly. Plants from the Asclepius family are a crown jewel among butterfly attracting plants for a few reasons. Many butterfly attracting plants grow to be very, very large, while Asclepius plants are very thin and smaller, making them easy to slip in just about anywhere. They are even easy to slip in between existing plants. Most butterfly attracting plants provide one function, meaning they are usually either a host plant, which means a butterfly would lay eggs on it and the caterpillars would hatch from those eggs and eat the leaves until it was time to pupate. And other butterfly attracting plants are usually only to serve nectar to adult butterflies. Most plants do not serve both functions. To make things even more limiting, often a nectar-providing plant will attract only one or two species of butterflies. At that rate, you'd need many different kinds of butterfly-attracting plants to have a variety of butterflies in your garden. Not many people have that much space. While Asclepius plants are the host plants for monarch butterflies, the flowers of Asclepius plants also serve nectar to adult butterflies and appeals to many different kinds of species. It even appeals to hummingbirds. Each tall stalk that you see is from one seed. That's right. Each seed creates one thin stalk. When you see a mass of Asclepius, many seeds were grown. Each stalk might be about as thick as this style of pin. They grow to be about three feet or about a meter tall and leaves grow out from the stalk. I'm sure you're beginning to get the picture as to how they easily can fit in just about anywhere, especially when you can slip a seed easily into a small little piece of dirt. You can even grow Asclepius in a pot and set it on a terrace. When I first planted Asclepius seeds, none of them grew. That's right, not one. But that was because I did not understand one simple thing. But I eventually figured out the right technique and have had splendid success ever since. Not only did my plants flourish, but the butterflies really did come. I've had a blast watching them up close and personal. I've been able to witness their life cycle from the laying of eggs to the eggs hatching to seeing how tiny the caterpillars first are watching them grow day by day to the pupation stage and then to the rewarding moment of a butterfly emerging. I've captured all of these stages on video multiple times and have had fun sharing this with my friends and family. Now I'm here to tell you that you can do it too. My next video will show you how to plant the seeds in a proper way so that you will have absolute success in growing Asclepius plants in your pots on your terrace, or your garden, or wherever you want to put them. Grow them and just watch the butterflies come.